Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to a hot lap track guide around Wilton Mill for Club 100. Um, this circuit is just over a kilometre in length, 1,120 metres, and the lap time we'll be looking at today was 54.203. Dry track conditions, slightly cooler in the heavyweight class. Now we're going to start at uh, the boot section because the last corner, very, very important, as Nicky Richardson would always say. Next lap always starts at the last corner. So we come across the line got a pretty decent run through that last corner we want to go right over towards the left as we go through the first two turns using a little bit of that concrete runoff but not too much of it as we then climb the hill towards the first of the heavy braking zones want to get on the brower nice and early here because you've got then a long run through some kinks down towards the next hairpin where we've got our second heavy braking zone uh, although it's a tricky place to try and overtake around this corner because uh, even though it is a tighter one you can maintain some good speed thanks to that concrete runoff on the left hand side we then go through the two sweeping left handers before right kink brings us back onto the back straight and we make our way down towards the boot complex where we've got one more braking zone and again another overtaking chance here stay towards the left bring it over to the right leave that steering open as you come around unless you've got someone trying to overtake you in which case you want to stay a little bit tight around that second of the right apexes and across the line for our 54.203 which happened to be the fastest lap in heavyweights of the weekend last year um, at round nine in the sp60 so let's have a look in some uh, more fine detail about this lap so as we come around the last corner making sure not to clip that monster curb because it's absolutely horrible and not taking too much runoff because a bit of a nasty bump there as well use all of the track on the right hand side get your right reels right into that space open up the corner as much as possible and then a later apex and you think going around this left hander and as we see here we want to be staying right over towards the left really opening up right hander of crook uh, if we drift too far towards the right and um, we're not going to be able to take the second corner full throttle uh, which is what we want to be trying to do so keep it left keep that full throttle pin and there's a little bit of a cover on the trap there which um, I tend to use to aim for sometimes you can't see the manhole cover on the right hand side uh, if the tyres are put right up against that kerb so I use the little uh, smaller one that's actually on the track itself as kind of like my reference my apex um, you don't want to use too much of the uh, concrete on the outside as we said but then we come up towards Christmas corner and braking just before the Marshall post now that's probably a little bit earlier than some people but I was finding that braking a little bit earlier and not quite as hard meant that I could get onto the throttle nice and early um, and I was, whilst I was maybe giving up maybe half a tenth on the way in I was gaining that and more on the way out as we take a bit of the kerb at uh, the corner affectionately known as Boxing Day. Run it right out towards the right-hand side uh, in the dry. That's absolutely no problem. Increment is full throttle no matter what. And as we come down towards Ashby, we can see these three lines or where the rubber starts building up in this braking zone. That's where we want to be braking. Um, nice and hard on the brakes. You can hear the tyres squealing there. And with this new... I say new, uh, at least it, uh, back in the day it wasn't quite as flat the apex curve there, but with the apex curve it is, it is there nice and flat, we can take a bit of that, doesn't unsettle the car, we use all the concrete this time on the way out. Um, pretty much full throttle through this next left hander when it's dry. Um, bit of a lift maybe just to help the, the cart turn in but we want to avoid taking that curb on the outside because that definitely will unsettle the cart but we do want to take the runoff from that cut through uh, just again making the corner slightly wider meaning that we can keep up our speed and as we go through um, Ozius, we want to get the throttle really early see how far away from the apex we are but we're on the throttle again already trying to keep those revs up nice and high in these Club 100 cart. Now you can run the exit curb coming out of this corner, just be mindful of those cones which have been placed um, sneakily close towards it. We don't want to be touching those, otherwise we're going to earn ourselves a penalty. Coming towards the boot and on the back straight, we want to be looking out for that Marshall post. We're going to break just as our nose clips the tyres of the front of that Marshall post and then we're staying right over towards the left, taking plenty of kerb here, nice and flat so we can use that. And then as we see Anwar in front, he's pretty much got it absolutely perfect, keeping those left wheels over the dotted line, not going right of that center line. Otherwise, you're going to be really hurting your momentum going to the first right. Because pretty much from here, we don't want to touch this curve. It will unsettle the car. We are full throttle until Christmas, the hairpin at the top of the hill. As we come around the second right-hander, we keep it slightly open. And then coming in towards the last corner, do not touch the monster curb. Not just because JV says so, but also because it will horribly unsettle the car. You'll lose all your momentum and you'll be a sitting duck as you go up the hill. So don't touch that. Get nice and close to it, though. Running the exit curb, not too wide. 
partly because of track limits, but also there's a nasty little bump there and it'll kick your rear end up into the air and we don't want that. But that is a hot lap of Wilton Mill. So I hope you found that useful. Um, as and when I managed to do some decent laps around other circuits, we'll maybe put a few more of these together. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a good one.